the yeah, those are fun. Booting. Those are fun times. I, mean, I think because it's like uh, as a musician, you gotta like go sometimes with the notes. You know, it's like dee, 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 this dee, concert hall has how good acoustic qualities in this building here. Yeah, on stage it was sounded great in sound check, and then during the gig it sounded like really kind of spongy. Too many bodies. Too yeah. many people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Next time we'll really? sell fewer tickets. My name's Chris. <laughs> Can you tell me happy birthday? <laughs> no? No happy birthday to you, Chris. <laughs> you don't deserve, you don't deserve <laughs> my fucking happy enough. birthday. <laughs> shit for me. <laughs> hey, Billy, yes. how are you liking the current bit lineup? I think the lineup's really good. Do you think it's going to last? <laughs> I would hope so, yeah. It's honestly, I think you guys honestly sound better now. And I, Jeff is surprisingly good. Like, it took me a long time to appreciate him. Yeah, no, Jeff is a fantastic Great. guitar player. I think the, the difficult thing is that the, 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 you know, what would become the pumpkin style. Right. And you know, we worked on that together over time. So we developed, like, a weird timing with each other that, you know, you just can't roll out of bed with any musicians and just have that timing. Yeah, definitely. And so it's taken us a while, you know, a year and a half to start to find our own timing. And now that we're finding our own timing, I think we're really starting to kill. Can you see writing with them and recording with them? Um, we're talking about it. Um, I, I just, I don't, you know, it, you know, it was difficult in the band because, um, you know, there was a disparity between, you know, I was doing most of the writing and I was doing most of the recording with Jimmy. Right. And then as a public band, we were very much, we were a band. I mean, it wasn't fake. Yeah. So we, you know, there, and there were different tensions involving that. Well, having gone through that and then coming back, I didn't feel the necessity to sort of have a band again, you know, because, and how, how could we ever have a band again, you know, in, in, the, in the literal sense? You're never going to have four people who grew up in yeah, the right. same yeah. moments in like, you know, I mean, there were lots of, it's easy now people look back and they say, oh, you know, that happened. Well, there were lots of gigs we walked on stage and we didn't know whether six months we were going to be back to our day jobs or, you know, we took great chances with our, our music and with our public life and we're still paying some of those you know, for those, some of those yeah. chances. So, um, well, we appreciate I, the chances for what it's yeah, worth. Yeah, but I'm saying is this, the idea to try to go back to a holistic, you know, four people all on the same mission, I think that's a little not pragmatically realistic. What you can do is say, okay, within these certain parameters, we can really excel. And I think within those parameters, we are really excelling. Yeah. And that's growing confidence. And then I think there's other possibilities that can happen. There. But I'm not beholden to like, uh, you know, we don't feel like it's 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 neither or. It's not it's neither just me and Jimmy or it's got to be everybody. It might be three people at one point and everybody at another point. To me, it's more of like whatever works. If I felt like I had to get three trombone players and it was just me and Jimmy didn't play drums on the song, that's what I would do. I no longer feel Pumpkins has to be uh, a set band. Right. I've done that and I've been there and I did. I got the positive out of it and I certainly got the negative out of it. Now, I, I never want to go back to that. Makes sense. If, if, you're you, if you could wave a magic wand and all four original pumpkins could get along, you could play together as a unit, you know, and nothing against this unit at all, but if you could do that and it would be peace and stuff, that would be amazing because there would be something there that you can never have again. But that's, that's saying you can't go home again. Even if that four people was on stage, we'd have to find something new. Right. We could never, you know, we're older and the times are different. All the things we used to do wouldn't work on this stage. It's like know. hanging out with your family. After a period of time, you can't stand them anymore, and you got to do your own thing. Yeah, I think. <laughs> look, we got. If you knew the personalities in the band, we got the maximum out of the out of those four people. Right. The maximum. I mean, beyond the maximum. I mean, it was so dysfunctional. So, I'm not in any hurry to run back into into like let's be a team. You I know? hear you. I yeah. think. I think. Uh, Jeff and Ginger particularly have taken on a huge challenge and have really excelled at it. And so many people doubted them, so many people doubted us. I mean, even people getting into like, oh, he's an Asian. I mean, like fucking total racist shit. Right. You know, like like I went out and got an Asian, you know, because, you know, I mean. It's right, not like buying a Hyundai. I mean, that's crazy fucking shit. Yeah. You know, like totally like not even seeing that there's human beings on stage, you know. We had other lives who had bands and. It's yeah. not like they I fucking found them in a hole somewhere. I mean, they were they were real musicians. So yeah. Yeah. they've really, I think they've done the impossible. Yeah, and you guys they, keep sounding tighter and tighter. I that's mean, what I'm saying. It's really going well. So to all the fucking doubting, well, now that doesn't matter anymore. Now we're past that. Yeah. Now people should get on board and just enjoy the ride because it's going to be a good ride again. You know? It's a but good it ride. took us saying no to all that crap. You know, putting all that bullshit on our heads like, oh, it can't work, it won't work. Well, we knew it wouldn't work with them. It wasn't going to work them so it didn't matter what anybody sentimentally thought it just wasn't going to work 
Well, thank you. I really thank appreciate you. seeing you again. Thank you. I hope to see you in Orlando. Billy. Oh, <laughs>